Welcome to video number three in our boutique business series. My name is Monica. I'm a boutique owner and a boutique coach. I'm also the founder of the Online Boutique Boss course, which opens for enrollment in just a few days. That's why we're celebrating with this series and I'm taking topics from the program and creating mini sessions here for you. Now we already covered branding, inventory, <laughs> Now let's talk about your product photography. Your first step is to decide on your photographer and the tools you'll be using. So are you going to be taking the photos yourself or are you going to hire somebody else? Are you going to be doing the modeling or are you going to hire somebody else? Or maybe you're going to do both and you might need a tripod. So make a list in advance of all the tools you'll be using for this photo shoot. And by the way, you can start with just your smartphone. I've used my iPhone for full campaigns in the past in which those collections have completely sold out. So use what you have or what you think fits best for that campaign. And sometimes that is your phone. Now I am going to talk about a few more product photography tools later in this video. However, I did make a list for you of all of my favorite product photography tools. So you can find that at onlineboutiqueboss.com forward slash photography, but make sure you come back because you're definitely going to want to hear the rest of our photo shoot tips. Your next step is to scope out locations for your next photo shoot. And I am speaking in terms of doing an outdoor lifestyle photo shoot, but yes, you can take pictures in your home, in your living room, against a white wall. I'm all about that. But there will be a time where you might want to scale your marketing campaigns and doing an outdoor lifestyle or an in-studio professional photo shoot is where this comes in handy. Before your photo shoot, you want to know exactly where you'll be shooting. So instead of running around the day of trying to find a spot, then taking a few pictures and stressing over where you're going to go to next and what's a good background, it's all about being efficient with your time and making this an enjoyable experience because it's definitely exhausting. There's a lot of work that goes into this. So make a day out of it and figure out, are you going to the nearest big city? Are there certain landmarks or neighborhoods or backdrops? that you want to shoot in front of. And also think about the time of day. Is this early morning? Are there lots of people? Is this a touristy spot? Where do you park? So think about everything you can and find out everything you can about the location for this photo shoot. Next up is to plan your outfits ahead of time. And I think you get the idea that planning overall in advance is key. You want to know which products you'll be taking pictures of and how you'll be styling them. So I like to lay out every single piece of the outfit, the accessories, the jewelry, the shoes, even the undergarments. And I also like to put each outfit in its own garment bag. You also want to make sure you steam the item so everything is nice and clean and not wrinkled in advance and remove any tags and make sure you have all the correct sizing. Now, if depending on the type of products that you sell, maybe it's not clothing, but you still need to figure out how you're going to stylize those items and how you're going to present them. So having that organized before your photo shoot is going to help tremendously when it comes time to taking those photos. Once you have your outfits down, you then want to plan the content you'll be making. Are you just taking standard product photos for your website? Or will you be filming videos for reels or TikToks or ads? Or will you be doing both? So the reason why this is important is because of the timing. There's only so many good hours during the day for taking pictures and you want to make again the most out of your time and make sure you have enough time. And once you begin to do more and more campaigns and photo shoots, you'll get an idea of how long it actually takes you or maybe you have additional help for future campaigns and then you can work that into your schedule moving forward. Lastly, let's talk about a few more tools and extras that I like to bring to every single photo shoot. 
One being a car shield or a sun shield that I use while I'm changing in my car. So that is something you also want to think about. Where will you be changing into each outfit and having something that blocks my front windshield and I also use a big blanket to change under for privacy. You can also bring a pop-up changing tent and I actually use these for my pop-up shops for customers as a changing room. So these are great because you have a dedicated spot and especially if maybe you're with a friend who's modeling for you or again you're hiring someone and they have that dedicated spot and it's super easy because you can just pop in and out of. Or when you're scoping out locations you can see if there are public restrooms nearby. Now I also like to bring a extra pair of shoes that I can easily slip on and use to walk to and from each location as well as a big oversized cardigan or coat just depending on the weather and the season. So if you are shooting your new spring arrivals, it's likely that you're still in winter. So you want to be warm and cozy and comfortable. And of course, bring lots of snacks stay hydrated. Again, it's definitely going to be an exhausting long day and you're going to need that fuel. And I've definitely had my fair share of small arguments with my husband because I was hangry and he's the one that usually takes my photo. So we don't want that. Okay, those are just a few product photography tips that I hope you found helpful for your next photo shoot. If you want to learn even more about how to take highly converting quality product photos and how to edit your photos and so many more tips and tricks about product photography for your boutique, I would love for you to join the Online Boutique Boss course. This only happens once a year and we have an entire module dedicated to product photography. So head over to onlineboutiqueboss.com forward slash join. I would love to have you in the community. So thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next video.